guys, so welcome back. As you all know, I love doing stuff in paracord. And this time I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. It's a double cobra paracord bracelet. It looks like this. And I've also made a belt for myself with double cobra thing. And um, if you want to make a belt, all you need is a lot more paracord. But I'm going to show you how to make a bracelet. And since I'm into this bushcraft survival thing, I have chosen to use a kind of emergency buckle. I think you can call it. Uh, it's a whistle, so you can make yourself heard. And it's also a fire stick, so you can make fire. And of course, you have the paracord to make shelter. Since I'm a teacher, it's very important for me that you can follow my instructions. And if you can't, please let me know. Because I really, really want you to get what I'm trying to teach you. Okay? Well, let's begin, shall we? This is what I used. Uh, I used four meters of each paracord. I have green color in the middle and camouflaged color on the sides. So this is my buckle and I'm pulling the paracord from the back of it to the front using a regular kitchen knife like this. And then you pull the paracord through like this. So it's going to look like this. The green one is in the middle and the camouflage is on the sides. So here you have my belt. As you can see, this is going to be that side. And out of these three, I'm going to make that. And then they're going to stick together in the middle. Okay? And this is how it's going to look at the back. Okay, you always work from left to right. So you either have this one or the green one. And now I'm going to start with the left. And since the first paracord is camouflaged, I'm going to take that one over the middle cord. Like that. To make a loop and then it's going to get under the green one and now the green paracord as you can see is going it's going to get inside the loop from underneath so when you have the green cord it's always going into the loop from the underside or underneath and then you just pull it through like that because you want the green cord to be on the backs on the back of the bracelet okay like that and then you just tighten it okay and now we have this side and here we start with the green cord and since it's the green, we want it to go under. And when it's under, then it's over. It's always under, over, or over, under. You see? And the middle cord now is this camouflaged. So we're going to take that into the loop from above. So when it's camouflaged, it's always from above. Like that. 
I'm going to pull it through and tighten it. Like this. And now we have these two camouflage and we have to cross them just to make the bracelet stick together, okay? So always cross when it's camouflage color from the left to the right. Now I have the green one here and the green one always have the green one under the first core like that. And then over under and over and now I have a camouflaged paracord in the middle as you can see and as I said it's if it's camouflaged it's going to go through the loop from above okay so you can see the pattern always stick to the pattern so through here and just pull and tighten it Okay, and now I have camouflaged on this one, so that's going to be over and then under. And now I have the green paracord in the middle. And you remember what I said? When it's the green, it's going through the loop from underneath. So take it under and over, or under and through be more correct like this so as you can see the paracord the color of the paracords decide how to pull the paracord through the loop and that's the whole point and now the green are behind each other and they will not cross no so we take this one more time and now I have the camouflage color paracord on the left so that's going over you can see the pattern and then it's going because it's going over the first it's going under the second okay so which color do I have in the middle the green one and you remember the green one is always from underneath through the loop like that okay then I just hold it in place and I pull the paracord through like that and now the green one is on my left okay now this side I have the green first, so it will go under and over. And which color do I have in the middle? It's the camouflaged color. And you remember what to do with that one? Yeah, it's going through the loop from above. You see? And then you tighten it and then you have the camouflage colored paracord meeting together in the middle so left over right like that okay so this is what it's going to look like on the front and on the back it's the same pattern as the belt just different colors Okay. Now I'm going to speed up things a little. But just keep doing what I've told you and you will be just fine. When you have like five centimeters left to do,
So, you take your buckle and uh, you put the cord from back to front, like this. And then you take the other cord and put it through as well. Something like this, okay? So now we have to make sure that it's going to be straight and that you have the right size. So it will fit your arm. Like that. Now I'm going to cut the paracord. Like this. I will show you. It's going to be the same length. Okay? Like this. But be sure you have the right length. Like that. Okay? And now I'm going to attach those to the paracord. I use a scissor and some fire. So you melt the cord and then you push it real hard with the scissor to make it stay in place, okay? And you do the same thing with the other cord. When you finish with this, you have to turn your bracelet around, okay? So turn it around. So you just continue, because you have three cords, as before, and you start with the green, so it goes under the first, and then over, under and over as you can see, and then you take this, camouflaged, and remember, when it's the camouflage, you pull it from, from above, through the loop, and then tighten it. It's a bit tricky, because it's, you know, the, one of them is stuck, but it's the same as before. So now, over the first, under, and then you take the green one, under and through the loop as before. Okay, I show you it one more time. It's the camouflage, so it's over the first and under the green, like that, and then you take the green And now it's going to get under, so you have to take it to the back, like that, under and through the loop. And now you have the green here, so you have to take it under the camouflaged. So, put it in that little hole. Oops, it's a bit tricky. Like that. And over. And then this is going through the loop. From the top, okay? Oh, sorry. 
this loop, of course. Like that. Okay. I'm just going to finish this. Now I have the green one in the middle, so I'm going to pull those cords through that little, little hole there. You see? So I'm not going to pull them through the buckle. It's going through that tiny little hole. Okay? So now I'm going to finish the bracelet. And I want the ends to be at the back of the bracelet. Of course. And I actually crossed them here. Just to make them stay in place better. So you see that little, little hole there? Pull it through. Like that. And then you have to tighten it. I'm going to flip so you can see what it looks like on the other side. But tighten it as much as you can. So it's going to look like this. And now I'm going to take my scissor and cut this. And then I take my lighter and melt the paracord so it will stay in place. So now we're done, and as you can see, I have my fire steel here, if I want to make a fire, and I have a whistle. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry, uh, I forgot I have to learn you another proverb, you know, the Swedish ones we have. And this is one of my favorites, okay? Uh, my friend always used to say it. It's Julet snurrar, men hamsten är död. And that would be The wheel is spinning, but the hamster is dead. Okay, see you next time. <laughs>